Hi, so I'm Nancy Nguyen, and today we're going to be doing some calculus. So the problem I'm going to be demonstrating today is 2012 AP Calculus BC FRQ2. So for t greater than or equal to 0, a particle is moving along a curve so that its position at time t is x of t comma y of t. At time t equals 2, the particle is at position 1 comma 5. It is known that dx over dt equals square root of t plus 2 over e to the t. And dy over dt is sine of t squared. So some skills you need to know how to do for this problem is basically a lot of old skills mixed with some new skills. Like integrals, derivatives, and you need to know how to use your calculator for this. Um, calculator skills are crucial to this problem because everything is basically in decimal forms. Uh, you also need to know how to um, apply the speed formula to um, one of the sections in this uh, question. And then you need to know that acceleration is the derivative of velocity. You need to know the distance formula. And then overall, this is a really important, crucial lesson you absolutely need. Velocity and acceleration of vectored value functions. Um, so let's get started. So first, we have part A. It's the horizontal movement of the particle to the left or to the right at time t equals 2. Explain your answer. Find the slope of the path of the particle at time t equals 2. So x-axis would determine left and right. So we would plug in t equals 2 for dx over dt, which will give us an answer of 2 over e to the 2. And since at t equals 2, um, dx over dt is bigger than 0, the particle is obviously moving to the right because left would be negative and we got a positive answer. Um, so when they're asking for slope, we're going to think derivative, so dy over dt over dx over dt. So then we would plug our 2 in for dy over dt, we would get sine of 2 squared over 2 over e to the 2. And then we would get 3.055 for the slope at t equals 2. So where are the points hitting in? So the points would come for one point for knowing that it's going to the right and with a reason. One point for considering dy over dt over dx over dt. And then one point for the slope at t equals 2. So next, b. Find the x-coordinate of the particle's position at time t equals 4. So the position is the antiderivative of dx over dt. And if you remember, dx over dt was the velocity. And antiderivative, that means we would be going backwards for the position. So that would be 1 plus integral 2 to 4 dx over dt dt. And then we would get 1.253 when we um, punch it into the calculator. So if you're wondering why we put a 1 right here and didn't just go from 1 to 4, it's because in the problem, it said that for the x-coordinate, we're starting at 1. That's where the position is starting, so we have to remember that. So the points come in, you get 1 point for the integral and 1 point for your final answer. Okay, so for part C, Find the speed of the particle at time t equals 4, and then find the acceleration vector of the particle at time t equals 4. So in order to do the speed, you need to know the speed formula, which is the square root of derivative of x squared plus derivative of y squared. So this is a calculator problem, obviously. So all we do is... You're going to plug this into your calculator, and then you're going to, you plug 4 in, and then basically the whole thing's a calculator problem, 
and then you would get 0 0.575 and then that's where you get one point for your speed okay so next we have acceleration and acceleration is the derivative of the velocity so we're going to be doing the derivative of dx over dt and the derivative of dy over dt and it's going to be two completely separate problems so don't try to combine it somehow because you're going to get a really funky answer so it's totally calculator required and all you do is you go to your calculator and you're going to go to the your end derivative and then you type your dx and dy in and then you're gonna go comma x and then you're gonna plug in the number in this case it's four um, that's how it works for a ti I'm not so sure how Casio's work but um, I'm pretty sure if you're used to using your calculator by now you have a basic understanding of that so I'm not gonna go in too much detail with that and then your final answer, it would be negative point zero four one comma zero point nine eight nine, and then you would get a point for your correct acceleration vector. So then, lastly, we're gonna find the derivative travel by the particle from time t equals two to um, t, t equals four. So you obviously you must know the formula for distance. Um, for this problem so all you do is it you're gonna this is a calculator problem again so you're gonna go integral from 2 to 4 since that's what we're looking for and then you're gonna do you're gonna type in square root of the derivative of x squared plus derivative of y squared dt and then you get your answer of 0 0.651. And how are you getting your point for here? You get a point for your correct integral. So even though you're doing a calculator uh, part, I guess, always write down your work so you get some credit for it. Because if you just write your answer, obviously you won't get this point, And then you wouldn't have gone the other points either. So... And then you also get your point for your answers. So overall, that's how you do this problem. So, thanks for watching.